Hello and welcome to the episode 136 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. A live appearance on national television, some studio work on Revolver, and a bit of holiday time will be some of the topics we'll discuss today. Let's begin with the 16th of May 1961 performance that the Beatles, with Pete Bass on drums, gave for their continuing second Hamburg residency in the city's Top Ten Club. One year later, in 1962, a third residency in Hamburg was going strong, with the same Beatles lineup, busy at the Star Club. In 1963, instead, the Beatles were busy with another kind of performance, their second appearance on BBC television. The show was a children program, Pops and Lenny, broadcast live from 5 to 5.30 pm today. The Fabs arrived at the Television Theatre in London at 1.30 pm for the usual rehearsals, and performed From Me To You and a shortened version of Please Please Me. The show mixed pop music performances with children's entertainment, provided by host Terry Hall and his puppet, Lenny the Lion. At the end of the show, the Beatles joined the rest of the cast and the resident band, the Bert Haynes Octet, for a one-minute version of After You're Gone, the 1929 Creamer Layton Standard. And this might seem old news to you, but some people still don't know that they can head to www.simonmas.com support and learn what they can do to help me to produce more music-related content, with a focus on increasing its quality. I have many ideas on my list, ranging from music history to composition, from recording techniques to music theory, reviews, videos and so on. Make the difference and allow me to keep going. Thank you for being fab! On the 16th of May 1966, the Beatles were at the EMI Studios in London for a long session, starting at 2.30 pm and ending at 1.30 am. The day began with some mixing of the songs already recorded for the band's next LP. Love You Too, still called Granny Smith at the time, had its best mono mix copied on a master tape. Taxman was mixed in mono four times, then Paul McCartney recorded the lead vocal of a dub on For No One, with the machines going at a slightly reduced speed, so that the final result could sound faster and higher pitched. The song was then subjected to two tape reductions to free space for further work. The session was wrapped up with the inclusion of copies of Taxman and Tomorrow Never Knows, to the tentative master tape reel for the new album. Holiday time in 1969, with the Queen Elizabeth II ship leaving Southampton for New York with Ringo Starr, Peter Sellers, Danny O'Dell, Joe McGrath and their partners on board. The executive producers of The Magic Christian had given them the trip as a present for their great work during the production of the film. Also on this day, Paul McCartney, his wife Linda and her daughter Heather flew to the Greek island of Corfu, fooling the press into thinking that they were going to the south of France instead. During the holiday, Paul completed his Every Night, a song first surfaced during the Get Back sessions in January. This concludes today's episode. Let's adjourn for a discussion of the recording of one of the Beatles' quirkiest numbers, if you'll be kind enough to tune in tomorrow. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.